Another historical site for you this week. This one's located in the same town, beautiful city of Raleigh, North Carolina. Not sure where we're gonna to go to, but if you notice, I'm in a different vehicle today because I have to take my, let me turn this, I might get a copyright or some bullshit for having the radio playing in the background. But, gotta take my daughter's car, try to find some tires, and that was a place that had some in stock in Raleigh. So we're gonna head back to Raleigh, we're gonna check out this historical park. I don't know, I see some kind of you know, waterfall looking, mini waterfall looking deal. Could be cool. So y'all follow us along. Let's see what we're gonna get into. Try to get these tires mounted on. Get ready for a trip back to Florida. Won't be too long. Got a couple weeks ahead of us maybe, possibly. Hopefully less is better for me. But it is what it is. Gotta make a living. But we're gonna bring you along this venture. See what happens. Not sure what we're gonna end up in getting into but hope you enjoy And that just broke my heart. Everywhere we go, they don't want you to do no fishing up here. Lake looked like it had some potential. Seen some mounted fish on the wall. What are they teasing us for all the time? That don't make no sense to me. Alright, we'll continue the trip. Thought there might have been a catfish out here, but it just didn't work out, did it, guys? So I guess it's on to exercising history. As I told y'all before, that's what North Carolina is all about, exercising history. Honestly, I have no idea what them little round circle things are. I guess that's the meaning of this place. It's a pretty old building. My guess, somewhere around this area, there's that water wheel we've been seeing on the internet.
North Carolina exercise at its finest. I would love to have a pole barn like this. My guess is what this is, is to either take a break or take a lunch. We didn't pack no sandwiches, so we can't have lunch, so we took a break. That's the destination we're trying to make it to. Is this bridge over here. And it seems like... How many, how far y'all think that thing is? Uh, oh, no. Yeah. It's starting to get wore out. I guess it's been about an hour walking around this thing. Ain't so much to walk in. There's really, it's pretty hilly up in here. You're up and down, been in corners, but it is a beautiful place. Nice to take a walk at. If I didn't bring my daughter's car today to get her tires put on, I would have probably brought the dog. That would have been a decent place to walk the dog. And I believe I looked online, they said you was able to walk your dog as long as you had it on a leash. So, could have given him some exercise. Y'all seeing anything out there? Find any catfish there, boy? What you? You see anything out there? You looking straight into the wall. You got to come up a little bit, baby. There you go. Bet you can see a lot of turtles. That's what I'm seeing most of it. Well, we made it back to the car. Kind of circled around. That was a pretty decent trip. And um, thanks for following along. Had one more place we could go. It's called it. It's one of them amphitheaters, but I don't think we're gonna make the trip. It was kind of getting wore out. I guess it's about a two mile walk around that area. Two, two and a half, three maybe, I don't know. It went fairly quick though. Beautiful place up here. Really is. All right, well you wanna say bye to everybody? Bye. Hope you enjoyed the walk through. Got some information. As we was leaving, as always, I picked up the brochure, got back home, went to reading what was the whole park about, figured it out. It's a grits mill. It's where they take that wheel that we walked around. It looks so cool. They grind up corn. They grind up wheat. And they invented the damn tortilla. I'm telling you, my old lady thinks Honduras invented it. You know... She still don't believe me, which I really don't know if I believe myself. But I figured out in Raleigh, North Carolina, that mill was the savior of the new world. That's what it about says into the brochure. I didn't, I just glanced through it. But it is the savior of the new world. And I'm trying to convince the old lady that they invented tortillas. She thinks Honduras invented it. Co-workers thinks Mexico invented it. Best friend thinks Guatemala invented it, and I've been searching up and down the internet, and I found a place it invented it, and it's right here in Raleigh, North Carolina, in the southern state. Who would have thought that shit? Who would have thought it? Now, with y'all's help, maybe y'all could help me convince them. They're not doing it. I got little man convinced. That's where tortillas come from. Out of that grits mill, if it wasn't for them, we wouldn't have all kinds of stuff. We wouldn't have bread. We wouldn't have tortillas. You, Taco Bell wouldn't even exist. But could be wrong. I don't know. Hope you enjoyed the trip. We'll see you next trip. And one day, when I, you know, decide to put a little bit more effort into uh, some of the historical adventures, I'll try to do a little talking while I'm going through instead of only, you know, I don't know, just winging it, but y'all have a good day. Thanks to see y'all come back, stop back by.